Hello guys and welcome back to Star Me this is the Fuse MC and today we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to make this beacon. This is a beacon that uh, the idea came from Jace Machine and I went ahead and worked on building it and we're gonna show you how. Okay we're gonna start out with a platform this is 8x8 eight eight. you can actually go down to a 4x4 four four, but just to keep it little bit better organized for us we're gonna start here and uh, the first thing we're gonna need is a uh, let me see we're gonna go with a damage beam now if you take the damage beam make sure it's pointing upright go ahead and do a damage beam module and get it upright there we go now this is the main source of the beam and everything connects to this now to make it uh, non damaging we're gonna use a stop effect computer and it doesn't really matter which way that goes so we're gonna take that and connect it to that that makes this non damaging now another thing that we need to do is if you notice that it's pretty consistent as it shuts off there we go alright so it's pretty consistent and in order to do that we're gonna need a Canon computer, Canon module, and we're gonna take this, connect it to that. Okay, now in doing this, uh, you can't really tell from a distance, but that has an orange shade to it, and we're gonna go ahead and do that with this one, and do that by connecting it to a light. There we go, and we're using a red light for this one. Okay, so the basic beam is set up. Um, one thing we're going to need to make sure that we have is some power. So let's go ahead and add just a little bit of power. doesn't have to be too much. Uh, don't go that high. Okay, now that there's power and we have the beacon set up, the next step is to create a clock. Um, here we have a basic clock. Um, I believe if you check out Gothic Farms, uh, Sven the Slayer has a, an entire tutorial on clocks, and I believe that's where I actually got the idea for this. Um, this is his version of the one tick pulse, and I converted it into a clock. Um, what we have here is we have a, the activator switch, and the activator switch is connected to the knot into the AND and then we have that connected so we have the NOT connected to the delay and the delay cl connected to the AND signal then we have the AND signal connected to the beam so this is the actual damage beam computer and it's also connected to another AND signal um, that AND signal is connected back to the NOT signal and that's what creates the clock and it creates a clock with a switch so you have a constant clock going okay now with that connected to that the damage beam as you can see it creates the beacon and this is actually undamaging um, if you fly over it in a ship the most you get is a an indication showing that you're being affected by a stop signal so that way it's, there's no damage to any ships or any players you can walk over it. it's completely harmless alright well I hope that that helped you out it was a lot of fun um, these are the kind of projects I enjoy doing and uh, hopefully we can come up with more of these so thank you for watching have a great day bye bye